<clears throat> okay, question number four um, from May, so from January 2018, M1 Mechanics 1, IAL paper. Now, um, we've done 4A already. Now, for 4B, we found that the acceleration in part A was 2.778 unrounded um, value or rounded to a high degree of accuracy than we need. Uh, it says, as it slides down the slope, the package passes through the point B where AB is equal to 10. So let's say this is the point B and the package is now here. So the distance between A and B is 10 meters. All right. We know that the initial velocity of A is 0. The initial speed of A is 0. And we've got to find the final speed. All right. So let's. this is a typical kinematics question. It's constant acceleration so we can use the SUVAT equations okay so just write down SUVAT to see exactly what we have so we know that s is 10 meters we know that u is zero zero meters per second because it's mo it's not moving so it's at rest in the beginning as it mentioned in part a if you go back to part a just to show you it tells us that it's released from rest okay it's released from rest and slides down the grotesque the slope, right? So we know that it's released from rest. Okay, so u is zero, and v, as we can see here, um, we have to find the acceleration. We're told is 2.778. That's the higher degree of accuracy than we wrote, and the time we don't know. So we don't need to find the time. So we need to deal with um, s, u, v, and a. Okay. So if we think about the all the equations that we know, there's one v squared equals u squared plus 2as. Right, so you have to know all the equations of motion. Okay, And this is one of them which deals with just v, u, a, and s. Okay, There's no t involved here. Um, you've got like v equals u plus a t. That won't work because they're not t's. You've also got um, v squared equals u squared plus 2as, which is what we see will work because we have everything we need. We got s equals u t plus a half a t squared. We've also got the 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 distance is equal to the average speed um, v v minus u over um, t over two. Sorry, the average speed times the time. Okay, the average speed times the time. That's um, what we can. Find, that's one of the other equations. There's other equations, but the one that we can deal with here is v squared equals u squared plus 2as. Okay, so we don't know what v is. We have to find it. u is 0. And a is 2.778. And s is 10 meters. So we can find what v. That's v squared. So v squared is going to equal. We just can use our calculator for this. We have 2.778. Let's move it out of the way to see what we're doing. Times, so that answer is already in our calculator, times 2 times 10. So times 2 and times 10. Which gives us 55.565. 55.565. So V is going to be the square root of that. The square root of the answer. Okay, v is going to be the square root of the answer. Whoops, how am I going? Going backwards. Yeah, so v will be the square root of the answer. So we take what we have. That's exactly what we need there. So square root of the answer gives us 7.454. 7.454, which we want to round we can use two significant figures as we had g in this question so 7.5 meters per second we could have left at 7.45 as well as they accept either 2sf or 3sf they accept 2sf when g has been used in that question and we used g in the question when we dealt with the weight in the beginning okay so that's the answer to four part b Okay, this is to do with kinematics, the SUVAT equations as is constant acceleration.